All right, so there you go, people. So if you go to Escobar Inc's website, out of the 2,000 units, now only 516 units are left in stock. In other words, they managed to sell 1,484 units. So they made about uh, 74 to 75% of the sales so far, despite uh, the well-known influential figures on YouTube warned you guys not to buy it. And this tells me a lot of things because as you know, if you look back on my previous, previous video regards to Escobar Inc, I actually made an announcement saying that I'm not going to buy it because I hate Apple products, that I just can't stand Apple products. And this was clearly established. And what I have seen so far is that after these two well-known influencers made a video warning you guys not to buy it, I were receiving enormous of hate comments on my channel uh, regards to Escobar Inc products and etc. And this is something I don't make, can't make sense out of. And only sense I can make out of is these trolls think they could make a remark by bluntly following what these well-known influential figures are saying and they can't make, they, got, they haven't got the logic to think of their own. That's right, you're a big fat phony! But the logic is there even though people have been told not to buy it there will always be people who have money who have logic they can make their own decision and they those people there will always be people who actually buy the product you will see all these other youtube uh well-known figures even have tons of more subscribers than i do have made the same sort of contest of video but yet because i made a video in the first stage of receiving um, people are criticizing me. I didn't know what was thing, what thing were coming on later on. I wasn't aware later on that people are not getting the phone. I was just recording my journey of getting the Escobar Fold 2 on my previous video, starting from Escobar Fold 1 and etc. And it just amazes me why people watch these well-known influential figures on youtube they watch their video somehow it triggers their brain and they like to come to my channel and leave these hate comments and it's really disgusting hey you know who lives in this house a great big phony that's right a phony lives here i mean some of them actually call racial slur for something about this they think that somehow they're gonna what are you to me that i like you can you can say such rude words. It just really puzzles me. And um, I just, the, the thing I'm trying to make this video, to make a point about it is that social media is a dangerous place for these guys. And also I'm aware that, like I made a video about Anki Vector, as you know, some people actually call me the Vector guy because I, I made several videos about Vector the robot. And I'm aware about these children watching these comments thinking that it's okay to behave in a disgusting way that's why i had to make a decision to delete many of the comments because it's just disgusting and um i don't know why i mean it sounds like most of these people don't those trolls who comment on my video don't have a brain to think of their own that's right you're a big fat phony and I just really hope this is this was actually I have to confess was a social experiment on my side to see how this roll out. I knew this is going to happen. I knew the conclusion of this and Escobar Inc has been very clever about promoting their products and people end up buying it uh, using all these articles and the court case and etc. But in the end, the biggest loser is me It's because I'm the one who's getting all the hate. Those guys, I actually challenge those guys who actually leave hate comments and saying, listen, why can't you say the same criticism to those who have way more subscribers than I do, way more views than I do? They don't bother replying to that comments. And this, this is the thing I find it really funny that some people actually compare to my subscriber numbers to those multi-million subscribers. And I'm really honored that you actually compare it to me. They say, condemning that, you're actually saying that that's, the one of the reason I only have 7,000 subscribers is because I don't behave the way how they do and etc. I'm really thrilled that you actually honor me on this whole matter. But in fact, you're going to see the huge difference between them and them and I. Is that in fact, when you comment on my video section, I'm likely to come back to you as long as you're well-mannered. I try my best to interact with my viewers and try to be humble and genuine with regards to the whole thing. 
But overall, oh well, you think I'm an easy target. That's the only way I can conclude that you want, you think you got the right to condemn me. And yet, despite not buying the Escobar Gold this time, like to make fun of me and curse me and leave all these racial slur on my channel. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see any of this record because as I said, I have actually filtered them out, um, also reported on YouTube, um, and I really hope they get caught. But the overall, what I'm trying to make announcement is about I mean, it's YouTube, social media. I know you, you think you could get away with it, but think about the consequences later on. What about those people who are not mature enough to handle the curse that you're putting into on YouTube? In other words, let's have some decency in social media. Let's try to talk to a person as if you're gonna talk to this person in real life. Why are you such a coward to say such cursing words thinking that you won't be caught? I know you're Probably most of you, I'm sure, are not involved with this whole transaction and etc. And you're just triggered because you're watching these well-known influencers and so on. But overall, let's try to be acting like a human being, at least in real life, the way how you behave. And that's all I'm asking for. Anyway, I, I'm sure this hasn't made any impact and you guys won't give a damn about what I say, but you just, you're just somehow you're angry and you find, you're trying to find an easy target so you want to condemn me for that. Well, go on about it, but... Good luck to you with your future of the cowardice of your acting. That's all I want to say. But I actually like to, uh, it's, a, it's been a very great experimental uh, way of learning how people behave and their mindset. It's, it's been a great learning curve. And I really hope this will be the last video I make about Escobar Inc. But um, something needs to be told on my side. And I hope that brought some lightness to this whole thing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LB, LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.